Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Ori in the Blind Forest. Last time we proceeded through the Forlorn Ruins and got here to kind of the middle of everything. And I don't think we can level anything else up for now, so we'll just leave well enough alone. These three are the last things I'll be getting. Uh, that one will be the next, and it'll be pretty much the extent of the things I need out of the menu. Game. You gotta love the uh, first thing that happens is the uh, double jump decides it doesn't want to work with my controller. I'm not sure if it's my controller, the Bluetooth dongle, or what it is, but I have lots of issues. Doesn't seem to matter which game I'm playing, but. Ah. Oh. Want to use that save point? You're more than welcome to. Oh, he's listening. All that's left of the Gumon. No doubt, poor guy. Let us restore the winds. Oh, we've done this once before. Last time, it led to something we don't necessarily like. Oh? Gumo? Pulled that out. Oh, whoa, now everything's falling apart. I'm not sure why that is, but you want to use your uh, thingamajigger here and see if we can not take damage. Basically, this one is not a race. You do not have to go super fast on this one. What you do have to do is just dodge all the damage and hopefully get all the way up here. Now, once you're up here, there we go. I want him to hit that. And I got hit by nothing. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll redo it. So yeah, you just want to let go. Ow. Ow. Ow! Not doing so well anymore. Come on. Shoot. Now here you want to stay on the ground. And then you want to rise up here. Oh, no, wait over to the left side though. And then hide over here while this falls. And then wait. And then you want to head up here. Now be careful when you get when you get over here because that's gonna go and that can hurt you. Now again, oops, oops, we gotta start dodging things again. Now head over to the side here while that falls. And we're pretty much good. We've done the majority of this one. And we can make sure to get that. You don't want to miss that. And for doing this, we arrive at Kuro's Nest. Whoa. An egg. Now this is the past, um, just so you know ahead of time so it doesn't seem confusing. But your eyes are no longer white, they're only red. They don't seem evil. They seem protective. Oh boy. Ah, dinner. For the little ones, huh? Now, if you're wondering, this is that night, the stormy night, the, light, the night of their light celebration. This is basically the very beginning of the game. Just from a different perspective, they seem rather afraid.
Not an unsympathetic sympathetic villain, eh? She raged because her children were killed. You can understand her hate. She's not simply evil, she's just different. She's based around darkness. Her kind do not take well to huge amounts of light. Her last child in that one egg we just found. And this is not gonna end well. We know how much she hates us now, and why. Fall damage, but kind of limping. Game saved. This is another little sequence. Break into here. Basically, you need to be out of her sight. If you are in sight, you're about to die. And you can't save anywhere along the way. So, just kind of make sure you're doing things right. You don't want to hit the enemy, you want to hit the other thing there, and it will automatically uh, hit the enemy. There we go. Yeah, this is a little difficult to deal with. Now, just kind of look over there. Is it there? If you destroyed the gate from earlier, then it uh, should be destroyed now. If you use the lever to remove it, it'll be there and you'll have to use that dude up there in order to kill it with her in the way. See, I destroyed it so I didn't have to worry about it. Drop down there, use the oldest trick in the book to proceed a little further. Yeah, you wanna go fast. There we go. And your rage is the only thing keeping you from me at this point. And I'm sure she doesn't have any more uh, ability to understand now that she saw Ori in the middle of her nest with her last young. Sunstone, we seek high atop Sorrow Pass. We must ride the winds. Now, after we did that, finished the Forlorn Ruins, unlocked the wind, we... Ah, oh, come on! Die! Thank you. We unlocked the uh, ability of the winds here. Now what that means is we can use our parachuting ability to kind of go with the winds and uh, make our trip out of here go a lot faster. As you can see, we move pretty quickly now that we have this ability. This is what I was saying before, uh, a couple episodes back, when I said that, yeah, the uh, path out when you're coming here, uh, when you're supposed to be leaving here, is a, oops, is a lot faster than uh, the way in or the way out was uh, when we went there earlier than was expected. Howie! Now, we do have access to other things at this point. Uh, we could have gotten here before, but I didn't because I was lazy. But most of the things we have access to now, well, we can only access some of them, and later on we'll want to access more of them, so we might as well get the ability up here first. Now, something I neglected to show off earlier... Now, he's not here anymore, unfortunately. There is a Wilhelm scream here. Uh, there is an enemy up here, and if you bash him over the edge, you'll get the Wilhelm scream. Unfo scream. Unfortunately, since he's dead, I don't think he respawns. Or I'm not sure. There, for whatever reason, he just doesn't seem to be here in, in this attempt. So yeah, basically head up here, and we can just move forward that way. Here's another secret. And another ability cell. We need uh, three of them in order to uh, get my next skill that I want to get. You want to hold on to the wall up here and uh, attack these guys this way because they are rather annoying and do 
quite a bit of damage. So this is the cheap way of doing it, yes, but it means I spend less time healing and all that stuff. Soro Pass. Now I believe this is the one I want to do first. Let's make a save. We can also bash off the rocks. Now, just bash up. Even if you don't see anything, and unfortunately, nothing. Okay. That's unfortunate. Can you... No, you're not... Well... There we go. You just kind of got to wait around and hopefully you'll find it at this point. Let's get rid of you. There we are. And head down here. Careful not to land on those spikes. And it will unlock the rest of this map, which, as you can see, is full of tons of gates and tons of keystone fragments. Yeah, this area is kind of long because of that. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we can do. Um, I don't think we missed anything. We can't look at the Forlorn Ruins map anymore. Or, uh, no, we can. Never mind. Looking right at it. I'm just stupid. But, oh well. Yeah. So, yeah. We might as well just uh, move on from here. Knock you over the side. And then somehow you're back up already. Anyway, you want to float up here. And grab that one first. And hold bat or charge flame. Because you're going to want to use it there. That's another one. You can avoid most of these enemies. This one. We'll go like that. Up here. There's another bad dude. We want to beat up. And another keystone. I think we need four of them upcoming. And there's that thing up there if you want that. Can't get up there yet. Now, be careful not to land too far down. I only have three. Where is my other one? Which one have I avoided? Uh, oh, right. I remember now. Ow. One down here. Now, be careful. There are laser beams, and laser beams hurt. And they kind of spring out of nowhere. And there's another one. Last one. Now, we can cheese our way to unlocking Best Gate 2, but there's no point considering we can easily do it later on. Go. Go up here. And there we go. And we get ourselves through here. There we are. Try and uh, get rid of you. Make a little save. You want to glide down here. Destroy you. And I got myself dead on purpose because I'm stupid. And yeah, new secret. Blow up that. Turn that one, which will allow us to get an item very shortly. Which is nice. I could use another one of those right about now. Now, you can try and do this all day if you want. And bash up here, but uh, that thing's in the way. So we'll have to come back here later. Now, I don't think there's anything floating around there, though I could be mistaken. This uh, area I don't know particularly well. There we go, we got that one. Boo 
close to you over there. Now, here, this one's not a lot of fun. As you can see, <laughs> yeah, this one you want to bash over. I somehow did that backwards. I don't know how. That sucked. Badly. Wow. Okay. There we go. Let's try that again. Whoa, I went way too high on that one. Whoa. All right, let's see if I can get through this in this episode. Don't want to have to stop the episode because I'm unable to uh, go any further. Or you could not die. That's fine too, I guess. Not doing too well today. There we go. This time we'll save there. I want to boost that over there, even though somehow the wind moves the uh, rock higher, too. Don't really know how that works. Uh, we have four of those. Let's go get... Secret! And we'll unlock this. Now, we do need this rock. Uh, if you had gone straight across from where we were, you would know why, but... Eh, just throw you over there. Get you there. No, don't go that way. Now I gotta do this, and this takes a while. There we go. That's faster. Yeah, there's a laser beam over there that you need to uh, stop its ability there. So just kind of push it that way. And, oh, unsafe zone. Oh, another unsafe zone. Oh, an unsafe zone. So you want to blow that, that game. Blow that that way into there so that you can get yourself up here. Ow! That hurt. Now, if you go up here, you can bypass the need for the rock there so you can use the rock over here because you need it up here too. Bash it up there. Now, if you have another ability, you can kind of jump up here. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I've seen speedrunners do it before to bypass the heat there. They just put the rock there and then jump straight up. As you can see, there's kind of a hole there. Anyway, once you've done that, you'll unlock this. And that's kind of how this area goes. Um, if you take a look at the map, there's just one big line going all the way up. So as you can, might be able to tell, the way down is a lot faster. So, I think that's pretty much all the ground we're going to cover for today. So, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.